Kelly, I'm not sure you know. So uh, Nick is now on uh, the thin team and has abs. And uh, he's figured out that that just makes you a sadder person. And I'm like, yeah, yeah that's, that's it. I, I'm working. The, one of the bits I've been working on is with regards to being fat. And I'm like, being fat is like being wealthy, okay? Being thin is like being rich. One screw up and suddenly you're no longer rich. That's what happens, okay? Sure. Whereas being fat, I can pass that diabetes onto my kids. Like, that will last it's, forever. It's generational. It's generational. It's the gift that know? keeps on giving. Yes. It's the gift that keeps on giving, you know? Yeah. Oh, and right. I feel like... Oh, my God. You got two you, the actually... tag needs to be you touching your belly and go like, right this? <laughs> this right here? This is yeah. generational wealth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right. This well, is layer upon layer of wealth. That's... Yeah. Technically, diabetes is not hereditary. No. You would be surprised. Isn't there this like level? <laughs> you're getting it all. You can you can have like a presupposition to it where like yeah. it, there's I think a, so. yeah. yeah, like how you can be predisposed to like Parkinson's or cancer or whatever. I I got yeah. a feeling that like that whatever that gene is sprints through Dino's DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody sprints in my genes. <laughs> 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 not oh. one person okay? that's a really good commercial if you ever have a gene line nobody sprints in my jeans uh, <laughs> do you know the gene edit marvel uh, that would be the worst the, the worst pitch ever kelly <laughs> <laughs> take a fat guy Little welcome the like, world's stiffest Make jeans up. yeah <laughs> just it's the, our new stiff jeans. You can you only have... walk. There's no you lateral like movement. Legs. You can yeah. only walk completely at 90 degree angles. Yeah. Do you have nowhere to go? You need yeah. Dino jeans. Yeah. They have, have hinges. It supports like... you so you don't get tired, too. You can just stand there. <laughs> you, can and just, just, uh... you take the weight off and you can just relax. They'll hold you up. It has a framework where you press a button and the, the <laughs> jeans turn into a chair. You just sit back yes. into them. Listen, listen, I'd be the yes. new Elon Musk for fat people. Okay, that's what I would be. I think that's the first time Nick has fought back before. <laughs> <laughs> that's only because it's over the internet. If we were in person, I would beat him to death with his own hands. But <laughs> mechanically, how, how would that work? Kelly, the face you made after that, you're like, ah, uh, Dina would do that. She's yeah. so violent. <laughs> like, I've never assaulted anyone. Yeah. Unproven. Only yeah. in your dreams. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> I, I, I mean, money I, makes I, I'm just away. picturing you like kind of blissed out in your dreams, like just like a, a, a really wide smile on your face as you're like just like in blissful slumber, and then like you would get like a zoom in into your head, and it's you just committing atrocities. Just <laughs> that, that, like his psycho reality is just yeah. like I feel people to death. Yeah, yeah. I feel seen. You know all those yeah. those. Just, uh, uh, could someone rain. cut you off I, on the sidewalk with, with like a, a, and they were drinking yeah. like a frappuccino Hatch in November? Yeah. You know, guys, I think we have our ad campaign for the jeans. I think this is what we do. Dino just really? losing his shit in the jeans. They're, they're... <laughs> this is great. And then you and then you rip off the Postmates commercial where it's like when all you can murder is think about Dino jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like you're be... slaying in these jeans. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, oh my like, god. I would be dreaming, and you'd see a fat guy. But then in my dream, I'm like totally ripped and be like, just yeah. like the active man's jeans, and I'm like, yeah, that's totally. That's exactly how I dream. I'll be honest. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my roommate is currently making a fog machine for our apartment. For Halloween decorations. I think that sounds awesome. That's, that's cool. Okay, but like in the apartment, it's just going to be misty. And he's like, it's down on the floor. I'm like, you know, people walk around and there's a fan and stuff, right? Like, it's it's going to be everywhere. It's not like that going to be that big. I feel like you're <laughs> inconvenienced by very small things, and I find it hilarious. Oh, oh yeah, I no, that, that's my whole that's personality. Weird. That. Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, All of it, your it, entrances <laughs> will be dramatic. Every single yes. entrance. Oh, I didn't think of that. That's going to be I should dramatic. like just fling yeah. the door open. Yeah. Especially because yeah. I, I have this, uh, I got this new cardigan where uh, I, I, I thought it, it made me look like good, but it turns out if I wear it open, I look like a school shooter from the 90s. So, problem. Uh, uh, I think that's our second ad campaign for Dino's Gene Company. 
<laughs> It'll make you look like a store shooter from the nineties. Um, there was that, and then the other. Worry thing... about what vibes you give off. This fixes that. You yeah. only get two vibes. Worried you'll look like a serial killer? Don't worry. This in <laughs> yeah. Yeah. old, old oh, horrible geez. fat serial killer, or young horrible oh, serial killer. killer. Mm. Sitting with too many people at lunch. Try yeah. on these. Yeah. <laughs> Someone gives you some lip, try these on. Gives you give superpowers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if they give you lip, give them that tip. Just, yeah. Yeah. There was, uh, war jeans. Uh, That's what they're going to be called. War jeans. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sounds fair. Yeah, but like I, I realize I can't wear like a just a plain black shirt with it because that then it really looks like it. I can only wear like brighter colors under the 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 sweater. Otherwise, I just look like I'm trying to stalk someone or something. Why? You know is what it, the worst part is? is? It like, is it like pedophilic camouflage? Like, what do you? What, what, here, what so do you? I'll show you. Show us. I honestly feel like that is number one, a very U.S. perspective. Number one. Yeah. Number like he two. was really, yeah. he was really quick on the school shooter reference. Yeah. You look fine. Mm. It actually gives off more of a Van Wilder type. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I didn't think yeah. of that. I, I yeah, think no. you, you more look like a like a psychiatrist that's overpaid but has no good advice. There you're, it about is. To, yeah. you're about to invite me to some beat poetry. Yeah. Is oh, there a thumb holes? Yeah. Are there thumb holes? Because now I'm I'm waiting for you to do spoken word. No, no, no thumb holes, and I, I have like an intense hatred of poets. Um, <laughs> that seems accurate. Well, the, the real we all is, though, like that's. Yeah. I feel that's that's is not, it, like. Is it that I am the That's not really or? a yeah. generations yeah. thing. No, it's no, 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 of... no, no, no. It's specifically how I came up in comedy because I started when I was seventeen. So for the first four years, I couldn't go to bars. So it was all like coffee shop, open mic stuff like that, oh. and slam poets not only would run the light every single time. All of their stuff would always bring down the energy in the room. You never like <laughs> listen to a slam poet and you're like, "Yeah, let's go!" Like everyone's it's always like, about oh. abuse and oppression and <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So oh, I, I just yeah. I hate them yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, and it's like the boot of the uh, society is like it's yeah. 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 And then you yeah. want to go up after and be like, um, <laughs> "Want to hear some jokes?" Yeah. Oh my gosh, I had that happen at a mic. Oh gosh, I won't say where it was. But uh, the host uh, did this like poetic, melodic, very sad tune about his ex girlfriend. And it was like, now here's Kelly. Fuck that. Yeah. It was awful. It was terrible. I would, I would open up and be like, I know why she left you. You're a fucking loser. That's right away. 